Well, hey, everyone, thank you for joining this very brief video. I have the opportunity today to interview my daughter-in-law, Annie Brown. Annie, good to see you, girl. Hey, thanks for having me. Well, how are things on the Georgia-South Carolina line? Things are going really well. Ryan's out of town, so that's been different, but we really love it here. Yes, uh, Annie and Ryan are serving at First Baptist Church, North Augusta, South Carolina. That's a mouthful. That's FBC and NA. SC, yeah. <laughs> anyway, now, hey, I want to introduce everyone to Annie because for multiple reasons. One is she's going to be writing a lot of copy for us with NGM, specifically taking on the role of our editor and our copywriter for our new NGM blog. We're calling, do you remember? Recharge. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's been something that uh, the Lord has put on both your heart and my heart the last few months. So I've asked you, early this summer. Annie, what would you think about joining us on actually on the team? And you were like, I've been thinking about that anyway. So it's really a cool thing, not just because you're my daughter-in-law, but because you are a, an amazing youth leader and very talented as a communicator. So you're going to be taking on this new work of a monthly blog. So tell everyone, what is the difference between this particular blog that we want to do with NGM called Recharge compared to other ministry blogs? Yeah, so our recharge blog put out through NGM is really going to be geared for our youth leaders. Um, you know, you can read blogs just about anywhere, and most of the time, anyone can read them, but these are going to be specific and unique to those who are serving in student ministry um, in a way to be encouraged, really. Yeah, so this is not necessarily the focus or attention will be on the how-tos, because so many of our services that we do with NGM do focus on that. My heart with this, and so was yours, as we both mutually began talking through this, we had the same passion, and that is, let's really feed into the soul of the youth worker. And I, I think of Acts 20 and verse 28, where Paul tells the Ephesian elders to watch over yourselves and your flock. And that's not narcissistic. Bottom line is, if I'm not taking good spiritual health of myself, if I'm not walking with Jesus, if I'm not praying, if I'm not reading the word, come on, right? So we want to make sure we're providing a resource for you to feed into your soul for your own sense of well-being. So that's the blogs. We'll have them once a month. We're going to put them out, uh, initially launch them every month through our monthly newsletter. They'll be housed on the on the website. Also, I, I'm seeing us, Annie, putting these also on Facebook, Instagram, as well as even LinkedIn. Try to get the word out there. So now you're going to be the primary writer. Probably we'll have some guest writers as well, different times. But um, this month, we have you introducing yourself. And what is What are you talking about in our very first blog? Yeah, so I'm talking a little bit about my personal testimony and my experience as a student and how two incredible leaders played such a pivotal role in my spiritual journey. Um, and so I talk about them, I talk about our small group and why it was transformative for me. Um, and yeah, how I can how I can do that now based on what I learned with the students I get to lead on a weekly basis. So you're sharing your own salvation story but also going into, okay, as a new baby disciple, who's going to disciple me? And it's a powerful story. Uh, I don't want to steal your thunder. But yes, those two ladies that were your small group leaders that poured so much into you. Now here you are doing the same thing. You have eight, eight girls, I think, in your group. So uh, eight or 11. Yeah. You have a large number. In your group. We have a pretty small group, but yeah, we did have a big one back when I was in high school. Oh, okay. That was the big one then. Yes. Yeah. The big one was when I was a student. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you, now you are doing for other young ladies what was given to you. And that's what youth ministry is all about. It's reaching the next generation. Hmm. Next gen matters. <laughs> so anyway, that's the blog. Also, you write a lot of copy. You've got experience in actually writing uh, curriculum, writing uh, devotionals, writing small group uh questions you know for the leaders in the in the q a format of a small group setting and annie's going to be joining us even within that because i write all the copy i write my own you know content when i do speaking i don't go out there and purchase curriculum and then preach it i i want to get from god come on i want to get from god what he gives me and my time of study to then provide you so when i go out and speak um we're actually considering annie and i are actually considering adding another layer to my speaking um, engagements with many of you. If you want to actually add that service on to me speaking is Annie would like to begin writing devotionals, which are spinoffs or carry throughs of even the content that we provide on the weekend. So that'd be cool. Speaking of speaking, this was the big reason Annie, I reached out to you. It wasn't just your blogging and your writing skills, 
but also with your personality and you're, you're actually on staff at your church as an administrator. So you take that skill set you have as far as, I love the balance. You remind me so much of my wife, which is awesome. All right. So in that you're both good and you do well with people. You have good people skills, but you also have good admin skills. And now let's bring it in. Um, there's, a, there's someone out there that's looking at booking NGM for me to come speak, for example. What's your role you're going to be playing with that person, with that host? Yeah. I will be your first point of contact when you reach out to NGM. So I'll talk through a lot of the logistics with you, a lot of that admin um, related things, and we will then point you to doc for some of those specifics. But I look forward to being the first point of contact, and that's uh, what I hope to do yep. for NGM. It's going to be a huge uh, opportunity for her uh, is to kind of be on that booking side of things and taking care of a lot of the, the logistics. And then she'll, like she was just saying, then she'll turn you over to me. Then we'll talk the actual direction and the flow of the content. So Annie's going to be a great addition, a great asset for that, for our team. So Annie, officially speaking, I want everyone to know, Annie, welcome aboard. Um, this is a pure yeah. volunteer uh, opportunity that she she's wanting to do. Um, so I told her right away, Annie, you are my daughter in Jesus and you're my daughter through marriage. So I want nothing to come in between us um, as we have this new working relationship. And I respect you as my peer. I want everyone to know that she's not just a kid in my eyes. She is a woman of God whom I have deep respect for and actually lean into for a lot of wisdom. <laughs> So uh, I'm saying thank you. Welcome aboard to our team uh, in that role of NGM. So, hey, everyone, get a chance. Reach out to Annie. If you know me, most of you do personally. Yes, this is Annie and Ryan. This is, you know, from my personal side of social media. Uh, but now even professionally, Annie will be uh, joining us in, again, that capacity of running point on being the contact person for NGM, but also even writing a lot of copies. So awesome. Annie, how can they reach out to you? Uh, if they so need to, or not yeah. if they so need to. Well, my information will be on our website. So you'll have my email and my cell phone number. Um, but also you're welcome to text me, message me on social media, um, any platform that you can find me and I'll likely get back to you. And full disclosure, it's the middle of September. We are still reworking our, our website. Uh, we are in the process of, of getting any one of those great Annie B at or Annie at NGM or nextgenmatters.com. We're almost there. So you will be getting her own domain as well, her own email address through NGM. But until then, um, would you mind giving them your church email? Sure. Would you like for me to do that now? Please do. Yeah, it's Annie B at CSRAchurch.org. Annie B at CSRAchurch.org. CSRAchurch.org. All right. 